Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You are most welcome in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, we are living in critical times. We are living in perilous times. We are living in difficult times. The question is, do you understand the times in which we are living? Before we continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful opportunity to come before your presence. Lord Jesus, help us to understand the times in which we are living. In Jesus' name, I cover this presentation with the blood of Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Please open your Bibles with me to the book of Daniel. Daniel 12 10. Daniel 12 10. I'm going to read from the authorized King James Version. I'm reading from Daniel 12 10, part B. I read. The wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. The Bible is crystal clear that in the last days, wicked people will continue to do wickedly. They will not understand the consequences of their actions. They will not understand what awaits them. They will not understand what is going to be for them. They will not understand the calamity that is waiting for them. They will not understand the catastrophe that is waiting for them. They will not understand the disaster that is going to be for them. They will continue in their wickedness, but the wise shall understand. Believers who have a discernment of spirit will understand. Believers who are walking on the path of light will understand. Believers who are walking on the way of holiness will understand. Believers who are obeying the word of God fully will understand. Believers who are obeying the word of God wholeheartedly will understand. Believers who are following the Lord wholly will understand. Believers who love the Lord wholeheartedly will understand. Believers who are living a life of righteousness and holiness will understand. They will understand the days in which we are living and they will prepare themselves as such. The wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. The question is, are you a wise believer? Are you a prudent believer? Are you a, a, a wise believer? Do you understand what is happening in the world today? Are you preparing yourself for it? The mark of the beast is around us. 666 is around us. It's all around us. In the products we buy, in the communities that we buy, in the goods and services that we buy, it is all around us. The question is, do you understand why Satan has put all these things in the product that we buy? Do you understand that we are living in the last days? The mark 666 is all around us. If you look at your products, your, your, your clothes that you buy, you know, household equipment, they are all having this mark in one way or the other. Some of them have the mark displayed visibly. You can see them. You can see the, the mark, this mark displayed on all these products. Some of them have the mark you not know, displayed invisibly. So either the mark is visible or it's invisible. It doesn't matter, but you have to understand that we are living in the last days and this mark is with us now. The 66 is with us now. It's on the product we are buying. It's on the goods and services we are buying. It's on the communities we are buying. So what does it mean? 
we have to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. Because Satan is going to use this mark to deceive the whole world. That is why Satan has already introduced the mark into the world. To prepare the minds of the people. To, to make it look as if it is nothing. To deceive people. That is why the mark is already in the world. Six is already in the, in the world. As I said, in the, the various products that we buy. No, Satan is using that mark to act movies. No, he's using the, the mark on the social media. He's using the mark in different forms. On the, on, the, on the goods and services we buy, on the commodities we buy. So the mark is being used in diverse ways and in different places all over the world. The Bible states in Daniel 12, 10, B, the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Do you understand the times in which we are living? Do you understand that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming in a moment from now? Do you understand that we may be the last generation in the history of the world? Do you understand that we may be the last generation in the history of creation? Are you preparing yourself for the coming of the Lord? Are you? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Any moment from now, the Lord is going to come. He is coming any moment from now. Don't be like the foolish people who don't prepare themselves for the coming of the Lord. Don't be like the foolish virgins who did not prepare themselves for the coming of the Lord. Don't be like wicked people who don't understand what is happening. The Bible states, the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Don't be like wicked people who don't understand what is happening. They continue to do wickedness. They think that the world will continue as it is. But they have no clue that any moment from now, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming to take us home. Be wise and prepare yourself as such. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is time for us to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Then you will be wise. You will not be like the wicked people in the world today. You will be wise and you will prepare yourself as such. You will be wise. You will understand what is happening. And you will prepare yourself as such. The Bible states in Daniel 12.10 The wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. The wise shall understand and they will prepare themselves for the coming of the Lord. Pray that you will, prepare, you will prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Pray that you will be wise and you will prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and begin to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Your word is crystal clear that the wicked people will do wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Lord Jesus, help us to be among the wise people in the world. And understand that you are coming any moment from now and prepare ourselves as such. Let us understand that the mark of the beast 666 is already in the world. And let us prepare ourselves as such in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory. Forgive us for being ignorant. Forgive us for not preparing ourselves for your coming. Lord Jesus, let us understand that we can only prepare ourselves for your coming by living a life of righteousness and holiness without which no one shall see you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. May your name forever be praised in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Remain blessed until we see you again in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.